Good day. My name is Chef Ken Molyneux here at Tropical Fusion Beach Bar and Grill at Long Bay on the west end of the island. About to prepare some delicious meal for you. Okay. Um, today I'm going to prepare uh, some snapper. Filet snapper is going to be served with a breadfruit plantain mash and it's going to be accompanied by a tropical salsa, roasted tropical salsa. We're going to have some mango puree, we're going to have some sesame sauteed vegetables and we're going to have some fresh hibiscus glaze which is going to be used as garnish on the plate so you can get some accent and some nice Caribbean flavors and also we're going to have some nice breadfruit trip. This is some fresh breadfruit from the garden so I'm going to give you some nice breadfruit chip as well I'll to go alongside with your meal so please enjoy this video salsa is something you want to prepare quite early so you can bring out all the flavors in the fruits while it sit and marinate in the citrus you need some some sort of citrus today the citrus is gonna be lime we're gonna use some fresh lime juice to create that acidic Tropical salsa is always good to complement like seafood and stuff like that because it, it kind of cleans the palate. It makes you ready for the next course which will be like dessert. This is local papaya as well, but I'm not going to grill the local papaya because it's going to get really soft and mushy. So we're just going to dice this here and incorporate it with the mango and the pineapple. dish that you could actually prepare at your home use some of your ingredients just from in your backyard like the papaya that I'm cutting up here right now came from my neighbor Velma's, Velma's uh, greenhouse that's over in Carrot Bay and I also got some fresh spinach from her as well so I'm gonna incorporate these in the meal so basically you use Whatever fruits you have that that is indigenous to the Caribbean to make it a Caribbean meal. I'm making some julienne red peppers. These are gonna be sauteed with the vegetables. Some carrots as well. Oh, you're 
restaurant too? Um, the restaurant Tropical Fusion is located on the west end of the island. We, we prepare lunch and dinner. We prepare lunch and dinner. And we also cater for special events, weddings, uh, and of course, we birthdays, uh, baby showers, just to name a few. And we do house to house catering as well. You don't want to come out and cook, we can actually come to you. Prepare whatever, whatever dish you would like. We specialize in any kind of seafood. We could take the simplest seafood and turn it into something really amazing that you will, your palate will really appreciate. I'm gonna put the pot on right now that you can start to fancy, fancy the fillet. Yellowtail snapper. I'm gonna just lightly dust the, the fillet yellowtail snapper with cornmeal. I'm gonna season it with some granulated garlic powder and just basic salt and pepper. Don't really wanna overpower the natural taste of the fish. I'm going to prepare is the actual hibiscus glaze, right? The hibiscus glaze is going to be um, fresh hibiscus picked this morning. I'm going to use a little bit of sugar and I'm going to use a little bit of rum, right? So, extract all the, the color from the hibiscus and I'm gonna put maybe like a shot I mean if you like a lot of alcohol you could probably tip a little more rum in it not too strong you don't want it too strong to overpower the actual hibiscus because the hibiscus has a unique flavor I mean you could actually make the hibiscus syrup and use it in your house as well for actually instead of giving the kids Kool-Aid you could actually make something that is really, really nutritious. Okay. And we're gonna add some cilantro. We're gonna add some cilantro which has already been washed. We're gonna add it to the salsa. This is a very key element or ingredient to this dish. Salsa, salsa to me will not be complete without having some fresh herbs in there. And I like to use cilantro. Um, if I could, I use chardonnay. And you can, you can see this is this, this pretty quick. You have the color. You get this nice color from the hibiscus, right? And as you turn it down, you leave it simmer down, it's gonna give you a nice glaze. The alcohol and all the flavors gonna infuse and come together really well. At least I have local stuff that I got from in my village, Carabae. I'm gonna just allow these to cool while I prepare the fish. 
glaze, I'm gonna actually just rest it on the grill so you could just take your time and simmer right now. sweet but based on the, the, the sweet content that we have already in the salsa from the mangoes and the, the pineapple I'm gonna just use a regular onion so the salsa don't be that sweet you don't want it overpowering the actual flavors of the food so it can be sweet so I'm gonna do some nice small dice with this as well I'm gonna add it to the salsa and then we're gonna set that aside interested in cooking at a really young age at the age of about 12 and ever since it got a hold of me I can't it can't can't stop um, you see being a chef you can create whatever comes to your mind you just have to know the, how to balance and layer different flavors like infusing stuff like for instance we're infusing the I infuse a little bit of lemongrass with the hibiscus to give it some kick Right? And we infuse some rum in there as well. So you have a lot of different flavors going on right there. Right? Um, actually, I've been a member of the BBI National Culinary Team for quite some years. Uh, I'll say probably like 14 years. And during that time, been able to capture gold medals, silver medal, bronze medal. But back in 2000 and 11, I was the gold medal chef for certified Angus Beef and Chef of the Year. And in 2017, I was awarded the Chef of the Year throughout the Caribbean and also the certified Angus Beef Chef of the Year. And I was also inducted into Hall of Fame, which was really good for the BVI. Put the little BVI on the map as far as culinary cuisine. You know, because most people only have nice beaches and sand but here in the Virgin Islands we like to showcase our talent which is of course you know we have good food you come to the islands you want good food good seafood and stuff and whatever you can get local so we try to give the, the tourists and, and the guests that come to the island you know a variety of different food that we have prepared different from how you normally get it done abroad Right now, I'm gonna let you see the colors we have going on right there, right now. So 
this is what you got going on right here right now. All these colors in here. This is this is tropical itself right here. You got all these different colors going on. I'm gonna put a small touch of oil in there. I'm gonna put some some of my mix, which is salt and pepper, a little garlic in there. I'm just gonna tap a little bit in there to, to help bring out the juices and the flavors in the different fruits. Okay, keep this on the ice. Have a nice fillet of fish. You could use something local as well, local hind, but I'm gonna use uh, the, the snapper instead, fillet snapper. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a small incision right here. And you're gonna hold the skin and you kind of give it like a sign rotation right here right and you get all the skin this is basically a clean cut right you have a nice fillet if you're doing like five star you could actually take the skin and dip it in cornmeal and do like a nice crackling on top and you'll give your plate some crunch right but in this case we're just doing a simple a simple meal that you could prepare at your home. This is the season I was telling you about. This is the garlic. We got some salt, we got some pepper. Simple, not overpowering the fish. And then we have some cornmeal right here. We're gonna dust it in some cornmeal, and then you're gonna see me put it in the, in the frying pan I have there with some olive oil. Just, we're gonna just give it a light sear. And then we're going to start to put this dish together. Okay. Give it a nice sear. Salt and pepper. Some salt and pepper. Just leave it blend. It's gonna get hot and it's gonna give you a nice green oil. Okay, we're gonna flip these now. So you have that nice crust on the top. If you if you, you, you zoom in well, you can see once the texture starts to turn to a different texture right there, and you wanna get white, you actually turn it over. You don't want the fish to overcook, you still want some kind of juice in there. So nice and juicy. I'll take this off so you know this is the finished product. You gotta go straight in. The 
this is a strain. Okay, we're gonna put this in a steel bottle. We're going to strain this as well with a cheesecloth and then you're going to get a nice green oil. Okay. We're going to just rest this aside. This is warm so we're going to just rest it there to keep warm. This is the green oil right here that we just drained. Vegetables now. This pan, this pan needs to get really hot. Really hot. So I'm gonna saute these vegetables right now. I have to add some breadfruit there. Breadfruit takes a while to cook, so actually prepare the breadfruit and the plantain mash a tad bit earlier because it takes a while maybe like 20-25 uh, minutes to, to actually cook to the proper temperature and texture that you're looking for a caribbean dish without plantains hmm. Very difficult, very difficult to find. <laughs> so, of course, we're gonna do some fried plantains. Can't give a local a, a nice plate of food without plantain. That would be like an insult. Okay. and tin. I'm gonna take some sugar and dust on the plantain and also some cinnamon. Give it a different flavor. Yeah, 
put it to the side. And we just got the plate in front. We just change this up. Pipe it out on the plate. Alright? Give it a little more class to, to the plate. I'm gonna actually plate in the middle, right? Okay, that's your breadfruit. So we just blend it up, blend it up to make like an actual glaze. This is the green oil. This here is the hibiscus. Actually plate in the finished product now. So we're gonna try to remember how we, we stage in this. So I'm gonna make an incision right there. Nice incision there. I like to plate with height. Okay. <laughs> Of vegetables just on the end. Okay. And the sauce. Now a little mango glaze going on the fish. And then remember you have that salsa to put on the top. Which is going to add a lot of color it's right there. Try to tumble it down a bit on the side. And don't forget, plantains. Okay. Plantains here. I always go to plate food tight. You keep it close that everything stays warm. So when it reaches to the guests, you still have that nice warm temperature. And these here are the actual accent right now. 
So you take a little bit of the hibiscus and you do a little bit on the side and the green oil. You drizzle it. These are some fresh chives. Sprinkle on little chives. And this is the actual finished product. Okay? So you got a nice local yellowtail snapper done in the best way. You could actually do it. This we, we, we turn something simple and turn it into a culinary cuisine, right? And you could prepare this at your very own home. It's very simple. You could just look, play back the video and look at it. It's simple. We'll put the recipe up. The recipe is gonna be up. We want to especially thank the BBI Tourist Board for making this possible, so our viewers could actually get to see and partake and how easy it is to actually prepare such a delicate you know this 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 meal actually hit home because this is one of my favorite things i eat at home i have a lot of breadfruit i always get a lot of fish so whatever i could get fresh i try to put it on the plate and to to wrap it all up if you was just here to taste this flavor you will realize this is a winner so i guess i guess my buddy's here at tourist board is gonna taste it up so see you again Give us a rundown of Tropical Fusion. Uh, tropical Fusion uh, is going to be actually opening up this Sunday here doing takeouts for Mother's Day. And we're going to be opening up probably the following week um, serving basically lunch and dinner to take out. Um, you know, we have to follow the protocol with what's going on right now. Want everybody to stay healthy and stay safe. Uh, once again, you can find us down at the beach, Tropical Fusion Beach Bar and Grill. Three four six three five five one. Thank you. All right. Thank you.